everyone, I'm Angela Cheng, and in this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to remove your green screen background from your footage using After Effects. Uh, this is really nice if you want to do things like change your background, if you want to add special effects to your videos, if you want to add elements to your videos, or even if you want to be cool and do things like clone yourself. So by using uh, a green screen, it really gives you a lot of flexibility in what you can do with your footage or your videos. So if you want to learn how to remove the green screen from your footage by using After Effects, stay tuned and I will show you how. I do apologize for the audio in the beginning of the video. Uh, my microphone died as I was recording, so I had to use the audio from my camera. So I apologize for that, but let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a composition from my green screen footage. So I'm just going to drag it into the composition here to create a new composition. Um, I actually wanted to show you guys an example of a green screen that had a little bit of shadow and wrinkles. Um, when you're recording green screen, you really want to avoid, you know, having wrinkles and having shadow. But that's not always realistic. So I want to show you what I do um, to kind of fix that problem. So when I have shadows and wrinkles, I like to start out with my effects and presets going to selective color. So I'm just going to double click that to add it to this layer and we're going to go from reds to greens. I'm going to bring my cyan to 100%, magenta down to negative 100 and bring my yellow and black all the way up to 100. And what that does is it kind of evens out the green. And I usually duplicate that layer so the green is really intense. So now if we go to key light, which is the effect we're going to use to remove the green, we use our screen color picker. And I like to pick a color in between the darkest and the lightest. Now you'll see there's a little bit of graininess here. Now, I wanna show you an example if we didn't do the selective color. So let's just undo that and just do another key light, select the green. You'll see there's a lot more graininess and shadows. I'm just gonna delete that layer, turn these back on. Now how I get rid of the graininess here is I go back to my color picker and I drag this down to the left a little. So you can see a lot of that graininess disappears. Um, if there's still a lot of graininess left, I will adjust the screen grain, but I don't like to go over 110. And the screen balance, which I like to keep between 40 and 60, since most of that graininess has disappeared, I'm gonna go to screen matte and we're gonna go to screen mat here. And the only two um, things that I will adjust, the clip black and the clip white. I don't like to go over 20 with the clip black and I don't like to go under 80. Now, since everything is black, I'm gonna leave that there and let's put this on full resolution so you can see. And the only thing I really need to adjust is the gradient is here. So we want this to be all white. So I'm just gonna just this a little and there we go at 82 now if we go to final result you'll see that the green screen has been removed now I'm gonna go to my composition here and drag my green screen comp in now when I filmed, I used lights and it really washed out my complexion. So on this layer or composition, I'm gonna do a curves adjustment. And that way I can kind of even out my skin tone a little bit. Let's do full resolution. And now you can see, actually let's go down so I can render this quickly. The green screen has been removed it looks grainy here but that's because i'm looking i'm viewing at quarter quality if we go to full everything sharpens now if we go to project i'm going to drag in a background 
now I'm at a beach there's a man in here that I don't want in my video so I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit get him out of there there we go and if we render now I'm on a beach and I really don't want that man in there <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it here but yeah that's it uh, just a quick recap when there's wrinkles or shadows in my backdrop, I like to start with selective color. It's not necessary to use selective color. I just like it because it helps eliminate the amount of steps I have to take in the key light process. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.